So we're going to just jump right into this. You got three steps if you want to put a custom open social gadget on your dashboard. Uh, step one, a one-time thing. You need to go enable plugins for the web server. It's very quick. There's one line in one file to be edited. We'll show you where that is. Uh, widgets are created as XML files, and in that you'll have the XML gadget spec, uh, JavaScript, OSLC calls, HTML5 available, CSS. Uh, this is where all of the capabilities are needed, and if you are not already strong at JavaScript and the REST API, uh, an HTML, then you're going to have a difficult time doing anything complex. But we'll show you a bunch of simple examples today uh, to get you started in this space. Once that XML file has been created and put in the proper location on your web server, adding that as an open social gadget to the dashboard is very simple. Uh, three clicks and a short path to say, here it is. So let's just get started and go through this. Enabling your plugins. Uh, I'm assuming that you're using the Liberty server. Um, if you are using either WAS or if you're on an older version with Tomcat, this path would be different. Uh, but we're going to go down and going to go down, find this server XML file. It's a very short file. Open it up and change drop in enabled from false to true. You now have the ability to add additional widgets to your server's directory space, and that is two directories down deeper. Now, out of the box, the directory structure stops servers was where that server file was, or CLM rather. Uh, you need to create the war directory and the extensions directory. Those aren't there out of the box. So create those two, then create an XML file that defines the gadget and drop it in that directory. This right here is about the simplest gadget you could create. Now take a look at it. You're indicating that it's HTML. There's a string. This is our typical hello world example to get your first open social gadget up there. Now, once that's there, you put hello world in this extensions directory. You've already enabled the server to be able to find and access these. Uh, so on your dashboard, click on add open social gadget. You need to then supply the path to that XML file. And of course, that would be your JAZZ server URI and extensions followed by the name. And careful, the file name here is case sensitive. So whatever you actually put in that extensions directory, indicate it, click add widget, and you've got your new widget up there. It's as simple as that. So we're going to do that live. Uh, let me pop up our system. Uh, here we are. This is the path that I said you need to get down to to find your server XML file. Uh, so if I open this up, uh, we'll see that I have already down at the bottom set plugins equal to true. Uh, you know what? I'll open that up as a text file. It's easier to read. Let's open with Notepad. Uh, and here we have drop-ins enabled set to true. So that's a one-time thing. And the, as you can see, this file is really very small. Uh, easy to find. Search for drop-ins enabled. Set it equal to true. I've already done that. Then the war directory, I needed to create that. It's not there out of the box. The extensions directory, needed to create that. And I've already put a series of sample widgets out here, but this is that first one. If I open it up, right? Very, very simple, like I say, simplest gadget you could possibly create. So let's add that. I've got that list over here. So add widget on my dashboard. Click open social gadget, and it's going to ask you for the path. Now notice. I've got my server URL, HTTPS localhost 9443, followed by extensions, and then followed by the name of the XML file that's out there. I've already entered that in. Click Add Widget, and there it is. Hello, world. So 
all of the effort beyond these few simple steps is doing something more complex instead of just this simple hello world HTML string.